this is Lucy and today I'm going to show you how to build the springtime cottage. I use catwalks to build this but there is a way to build it without. You will however if you want to double wall it need some way to destroy items so either a flamer trap or a friend in PvP. If this is something that you are interested in please stay tuned. So if you saw my video on how to collect resources for the um, rose flower vase thing, the Valentine's bouquet, you will know that I was working on this cottage. It's been quite grey and dark and miserable in the UK because it's the winter. Um, we have had a cold snap with some very, well, very cold and snow in parts of the UK. but. Uh, it's back to being dreary and rainy, at least in Devon now. If you're wondering what the flashing is, because we're at the White Springs, there are robots up there, which is slightly annoying, although I have found that I haven't been attacked here a lot. I did log in one day and there was a Scorch Beast, which I just immediately logged out. <laughs> Um, I've had my camp destroyed by a Scorch Beast before and it was uh, early in the game and it was quite um, costly to repair it. So I chose this spot because I like the little river and the bridge and the bicycle. So um, I've incorporated my workbenches into this little outbuilding here so I didn't have a separate building for it. I've put a couple up here. If you don't have a jet, well I didn't even use a jetpack, I just used marsupial to jump up here. Um, that's beyond um, your ken. You could always put a ladder up, a staircase and a floor so you can get over. So let's start the tour. Obviously I've put window boxes out. We've got this little conservatory. This is the Helvetia door. It does occasionally pop up in the Atom store. I have used quite a few things from this season. I never keep a track of the numbers. Are we up to 14 or 15? I don't even know. Um, so these blinds came from the current season. I think that came from the season before. Or maybe even the one before that. Um, I tried to keep with the kind of yellow-ish theme. Um, this sofa colour is supposed to be cream, but if you have cream that's that colour, you probably want to put it in the in the bin. <laughs> so um, I used the white kitchen. More blinds. We have this conservatory out here. You can sit and have a romantic dinner if you want in your conservatory. I had originally. Um, put a kitchen table here there was no door here um, but I had placed a couple of foundations out here and I was actually using this spot to do all my merging and one of my patrons MJ asked me what I was going to do with this and I came out here and I looked down and it's such a nice view I thought it would make a nice little well balconette balcony uh, terrace so I put another door in I mean there is a table out here if you want to eat al fresco and of course there's the table in the conservatory so I didn't think I really needed a kitchen table as well but I did put a couple of stools and a breakfast bar in. I do like the white kitchen, I like it better than the blue and I have actually updated my Christmas cabin as I said I was going to with the white kitchen and it looks great. Um, the only thing that really annoys me is we do not have a cooker, so I have used my usual um, faux gas hob and the cooking station pot thing. The only thing if you are, if you want to be completely immersive is obviously if you watch someone use this, you actually, um, yeah, you kind of sit on the counter, so, but it works. 
Um, I used this door for the bathroom, the theatre door, because the kitchen was very black and white and it kind of continued that colour on. Um, so I thought that worked quite well. The bathroom is fairly standard. Upstairs is fairly standard, really. Um, I have a bed, a desk, just some stuff. I, I, I wanted to put railings up, but I could not find anything that just wasn't completely wrong for this build. I really wish there was a way to um, use these um, little things that we got with the porch foundations. I've been trying to blueprint one so I can free place it. My, my efforts so far have not been successful, but I shall not give up. So overall, I'm happy with the build. I don't often build at White Springs, but it just seemed like the perfect place for this build. Um, I have got a little, I've got some springtime bulbs out here. The way I was able to place them in this pattern is by placing them on a rug and then using a, a rock I was able to merge them down so that when I placed the rock they were under the ground. So I did toy with using the thin long rug to put stepping stones in but because of the slope here it just wasn't viable. There's also a bit of an issue here with putting things under the ground because it says cannot be placed in water because obviously the water is quite low here. So, right, now I will show you how I built it. So if you do not have catwalks, you're going to go down below and look at a video I posted which shows you how to post, how to how to place a staircase in a 2x2 two two building and you're going to place this blueprint down here I'm kind of following I don't know what I'm following really this sort of line here with the bridge um, you need one more foundation behind this to the side so don't go right up to this tree because it will not suppress you can place the blueprint and then we are going to square this off we want a grid of 3x3 three three. plus 2 on the left hand side one there and one next to it so you've got three by three and then two at the back on the left. If you do have catwalks, you can still do it this way. Um, but basically, three by three, two the same. We will add some walls. As you know, I like to use the barn wall because it's easy, cheap, and uh, it's very easy to see which side is which. On areas like this, you can double wall because you've got two, uh, two foundations. This is where the conservatory will be. Bathroom wall, bathroom doorway. And to get the stairs in, if you have catwalks, place a half catwalk on this wall 
Temporarily remove this floor. Add a staircase. Remove the catwalk and put your floor back. Finish up double walling all of the external walls. I use a catwalk. If you don't have catwalks, use foundation. If you cannot get a foundation in this side, although it looks like I can, but if you can't, there is an easy trick with the door. Place the door in a doorway. Turn the doorway into a plain wall and remove it. Place a doorway on the door facing outwards. Doors have two snapping points, so it's easy to do this. To remove the door and you can get another wall on. Double walled. <laughs> I'm just going to be lazy and use the catwalk. Next, I'm going to add the walls for the conservatory. They have different window options, whichever you want. And if you can find them in the abomination of a menu, <laughs> add top wall arches. Like so. The upstairs of the building has half walls all the way around. You don't have to double wall it. Bear in mind though that um, If you're using um, one of the single sets that the old ones do not have windows in the, the half walls. Um, the newer ones tend to, I mean, you could, you could do it with, you could do it with the basic wood set if you wanted. We need to get a wall in here, a top half wall. So I'm going to temporarily put and I'm going to double wall it because I'm going to double wall these half walls. Put that one there. Once this is all finished, we can take these two walls out. We can add the upper floors. Because the floor skins do not come in halves, I generally use the basic upper floor. Make sure that you get the patterns going in the right way, if you want them going the right way. So a half at the top of the stairs, two full pieces and another half. Top wall arches. Because we're going to be double walling, we need to use the brick. So I'm going to put the top wall arches on the main part of the building but not these extensions just yet and we are going to flame a trap all of the top floor of the building to do the half walls and the top wall arches at the same time i put my flame a trap on a stash box And now I don't have to power up the flame of trap for those people that ask me endlessly. It's because since we got build camera, I find it easier to stay in camera mode. So I power up my flame of trap.
Now, flame traps degrade as you use them, so every so often if I'm doing a large area, I put my flame trap away and get it out again. It saves me having to repair it. We're now going to double wall this section. I am going to Double wall the top wall arches. The first one needs to be brick because of the way that it breaks is unique. But you can add the second wall can be anything you like. I'm using the barn set because of the white trim. We can add the roofs if they will go on. Sometimes once you've double walled it doesn't want to go on, especially when you flame are trapped because the snap point is the other side, but you can just add one on the side it wants and then remove it. We're going to add top wall arches to the extensions. Whenever I'm double walling, the first wall I always place the inside facing inside so I always know where I'm going with it, as it were. I'm going to add a roof. Why will become apparent in a second. Just trust me. <laughs> right, the easiest way to destroy these top wall arches is to lower this roof. Then we're just going to flame a trap these top wall arches. Try and do it on the widest part so that you're hitting it with both barrels. We now need to double wall these top wall arches. We can place our roofs back up. And we need a roof for our conservatory. Then just go to your camp widget and repair all. That is the build. The rest is basically decor. I did all of the outside of the cottage in yellow wallpaper. Mm. 
<laughs> this end of the cottage was also... Oh, I forgot. These walls that we put in here to support the top can come out now. And they'll just come straight out. <laughs> Allegedly. So this end of the cottage is all yellow. And I think this one, I never remember. It's, it really annoys me. I go round before I do the video and wallpaper placement. I remember what colours I used, but when I mix it up with different walls, I kind of forget. I think that's right. And the bathroom as well. I did it in this white plank. If you don't have this, then by all means, um, just use the cream. Upstairs. I used, not that one, <laughs> this one, I think, <laughs> the other problem is sometimes I start with some one thing and then I change it, so, right, you need to go around and add windows, I use the Helvetia windows, if you don't have the Helvetia set you could use the siding wall. I don't know why they call this siding wall. It used to be called the contemporary set. I don't think, I think it's still called the contemporary set. I think it's just a, a, a misname. There are windows on that side. There is a window at the back of the bathroom. For privacy. You don't want one here. And there is one opposite the front door. So, go around and make all of the other walls, apart from the doorways obviously, um, plain walls. Oh no, that's a water. <laughs> yes, this house has actually got three doors, so it's quite. Uh, it's got the door into the conservatory as well. And obviously, do the other sides of the windows. Upstairs we've got little windows as well. I use the contemporary set for this. I use the single window. You can mix it up. One here. And one at the front. Again, make sure you do the other side. You can remember where you put them. <laughs> Is that the right one? Yes. There we go. So we are pretty much done. Um, I used the white picket fences. Somebody a few months ago told me that they no longer had the white picket fences. They are under this tab with the base fence. So one there, one there, and all the way around terrace obviously we'll need steps to get up there I use the ones that came with the contemporary set they're the lightest ones I didn't change the doorways if you want a more sort of ornate door you can use the Halvatia one or the um, 
contemporary set. It's got a bigger. It's up to you. The top wall arches that are brick, you can change them to if you can select them. <laughs> it's always the opposite side to the one you think. So you can actually do it from the inside because the inside wall for me is always going to be brick because I always put them facing inwards and that way I never get confused about which wall is which and that way you'll get the nice white trim like so for doors I used the um, it just says wood door but it was originally called the Helvetia door and I used that on both of the external doors for this internal door I used the theatre door which was a season reward now for this one I used this Slocum fat stack door and it doesn't actually fit there's a gap at the top but it's the only decent glass door that I have. Um, I believe the bowling alley one is glass and it and it fits all the way. So if you have the bowling alley door, I'd use that. And decoration on the outside, I used I used the awning. Um, I used the green one. Um, but if you have the Helvetia set and you want something different, you can always use these or these which I quite like. So it's up to you. Um, I did start with those originally and I changed it to the awning. And I think I put them on all of the... I don't think I put one on the bathroom, but I think I put them on all of the external main windows. And that is pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. So it's a fun build, it's a cute build, it's a very Lucy build, although I am, after the castle, I am thinking of, of doing a few more things like that. I had fun with that build, but I still like this. Um, it's a nice open space. Or it's, not, it's, it's very spacious with the additional sort of, rather than just a two up, two down, or a two by two. Having all this extra space makes it feel like a lot, a house that's a lot bigger. So I hope you like the build. I hope you have fun with it. That is all from me today. Thank you for watching.